BP's Deepwater Horizon oil platform exploded on April 20th, then burned and sank about 50 miles off the coast of Louisiana, resulting in the tragic loss of 11 lives and triggering a crisis in the Gulf of Mexico. The blowout released more than 200 million gallons of crude oil and up to 500,000 tons of methane and other gases, the largest unintentional discharge of hydrocarbons into the ocean in history. Most of the oil from the blowout can no longer be seen on the Gulf water's surface, but the Gulf is suffering an ongoing environmental and economic tragedy. The BP disaster is just the latest insult to the Gulf. From coastal erosion to overfishing to the excessive nutrient runoff that has produced dead zones of depleted oxygen, there are many threats to Gulf fish, wildlife, and the people who depend on a healthy ocean for jobs and business. Katrina, but prior to Katrina, I had five boats working. I mean, we were out in harvesting. BP don't come. Well, I'd have had a bunch of little boats right now. We would have made a ton of money by now. It's important to remember that whatever impacts the Gulf will impact the way Americans live throughout the nation. Coastal restoration is a big item for us. We want to make sure that this estuary we have here, we don't lose it. So we're trying to do things that are going to make sure that we maintain our coast, maintain our, our quality level of the coast, at the same time create new and better programs for our fishery and, and continue to grow. The Gulf of Mexico is a region of tremendous biological uh, diversity and productivity. This marine and coastal ecosystem is a series of interconnected parts from the offshore, nearshore, estuarine waters, freshwater, and terrestrial habitats. More than two-thirds of the total production of U.S. oysters comes from the Gulf. But growing up, we ate oysters all the time. We ate seafood all the time. I mean, they'd come in with sacks and sacks of oysters, and that was the revenue. That's how the family supported themselves in Biloxi, and a lot in Ocean Springs, too. I mean, that's how they made a living. They had no other choice. The oyster problem is one of lack of supply. And what concerns us right now is that anytime you lose continuity of supply at your restaurant or your place at the table, it's very difficult to get it back. And it opens the door for the competitors, be they from within this country or from outside of this country, to take your place at the table. And we're fighting very hard to make sure that doesn't happen. Ever since the oil began gushing from BP's well after the Deepwater Horizon explosion, Ocean Conservancy scientists came to observe damage, to talk with people from the impacted communities, and to meet with elected leaders from the Gulf states. The Gulf needs a science-based, ecosystem-wide restoration plan to restore the environmental and economic health of this region. 